is nice. Um, actually, I'm a little nervous now because we were just talking off mic before before we started the introduction, and I didn't know what baby was, and I told him a Baptist joke. <laughs> so watch out when you're with minister. What, what faith are you using as a joke? Okay. You know, I've got 37 cents. I just uh, counted in my pocket, and. I say that, Pastor, in case you know Pastor Basket. But anyway, this 37 cents, I'll give to the first person who knows how long the Conklin Center has been in operation and working with people. Okay, we got a piece of 40 over here, didn't we? 40 years. Okay, I'm going to go over here. I apologize. Uh, but I've got 40 cents for The Conklin Center has helped so many people since its inauguration, has done more things. When I visited it last week and uh, went through the program with different people and, and met a lot of the students there, I was flabbergasted on what they learn, what they understand, what they do, and, and how they grow while they're a student at the conference center. It, it is nice to know it's right here in Volusia County. It's sad to know that it's the only one in the country that works like this. And we've got a president and a CEO that, that really has the passion, the love, and the desire to make this an organization that really helps people. So once again, let's give everybody a, a round of applause. You know, it's a, it's a lot of people in a community. In fact, more people that are even here tonight, even though that we have a, a great audience here helping out the conference center. But it takes so many people. So we'd like to give, just give a few names of thank you. I know we're going to miss somebody. I apologize for that in advance. But it's so many people that help the conference center be as successful as it is. Missy Holden, if you're here tonight, congratulations. Let's give a little bit of applause. Preston Ruth is somebody that helps this organization very much. It's Don Needham helps out a lot. Frank Bruno and Mary Bruno, they're sitting right over here. You want me to stay in the Keller Williams table, but uh, I'll leave that alone until later. Helen Gary Krishner, are you here? Teresa Smith, thank you for everything that, uh, that you've done for this organization. Okay, where are we? Dick and Sandy Gosh. There he is on place. There he is. There he is. There he is. Tom McKellen. There's Tom. Carrie Parker. Corey Parker, I'm very sorry. Thank you for all that you do. David Walter, thank you for what you have done in the past and hopefully we'll continue to do the future. Mike and Mary K. Gelali. <laughs> Mike Fielding, is he here? Raise your hand, do something, jump up and down. We're going to applaud you anyway. I saw earlier Nancy Epps. Where's Nancy? There's Nancy Epps. Eliza Chalkin, did I pronounce that properly? Jay, there he is. Brian Ron, are you here? There, it's down there. Congratulations. John Penny, where's John Penny? Jonathan Gilden. Lois Bolenbach. Lucille <laughs> Sorrento, are you here? Did I pass that down there? And there she's back there. Lewis Bolenbach. That was the last one. Thank you very much. You know, there's been a lot of things that go on at uh, the center that even a lot of people don't know. Like I said, I, I was so just enamored and, and happy when I saw all the different things they do to make people's lives fuller, happier, and live on with, with, with a purpose. And I think that's that's really great. I understand there was a segment on CBS T 
TV wouldn't be radio. We wish it would be radio, but it's TV. And nevertheless, we'd like to show that segment to you right now. Their president and CEO took over a year ago with plans to improve and expand the one of a kind facility. Music Taker Matt Austin has this week's Getting Results Award winner. classroom to the conference center for the blog. Where practice leads to independence. The center offers a one of a kind program for adults who are blind or with low vision and have additional disabilities. We are the only center in the country doing what we're doing, and it's this event right here in daytime. It's where students like 24-year-old Brittany Locklear She's counting them and placing them in the bin. Learn life skills in a residential setting. We're looking at how well they communicate, collaborate, how well they take to directions. Every student gets one-on-one -on -one attention and the path to realize their dream to live productive, independent, fulfilling lives. Basically, come in with very little experience, and by the time they leave, they are able to live Okay. Center President and CEO Kelly Harris took leadership a year ago, becoming the center's biggest cheerleader. I have a very personal reason for being here. You see, she knows firsthand the struggle her students face. And I was born with congenital glaucoma, which is the leading cause of blindness for children. So I had multiple surgeries throughout my life. Students here are used to challenges. They've known them all their lives. But now, independence is at their fingertips. It's, it's a lot of hard work, but it's work. I belong here. <laughs> I totally belong here. With the proper training and the proper guidance and the proper opportunities, those dreams can be realized. And that's what we're doing here. It's, it's really remarkable. Matt Austin, getting results, you six. That's great. The Conklin Center is